day. From GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. This is the NFL. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Here come the Giants, led out by their former sixth overall pick out of Duke back in 2019, Daniel Jones under center. New York State committed to Daniel Jones for a fourth season, but also made this a decisive year by declining his fifth-year option. 2022 looks like Jones' final chance to prove he can be the franchise face for the Giants, and he does have a cadre of weapons that he'll need to top his career highs of 3,000 yards and 24 touchdowns that he set as a rookie. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. He finds his man complete. That's Hudson. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. To throw again on second down. Jones. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. Crowd getting in it a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. Throwing Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. A gain of four, not enough. And it looks like punt time on their opening drive is its fourth down. Well, able to get the completion, but unfortunately not able to get the third down conversion there on that play. And I like how the defense approached that one. They knew where the first down marker was, and they decide whatever you want to have, you can. You're just not going to get the first down. Excellent tackling right there. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. <laughs> Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Time to get our first look at one of the star faces of the NFL, Patrick Mahomes and his Kansas City offense. Really the gold standard among NFL offenses since he became the starter in 2018. We're talking about Patrick Mahomes. What's a normal season for him? It's probably a career year for 99% of the other quarterbacks in the game today. 4,800 yards, 37 touchdowns, and a fourth straight trip to the AFC title game. He is making sure that all of us understand what he is doing is sometimes beyond spectacular, and his team follows accordingly. When he's under center, KC always has a shot. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They go play fake. Mahomes. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Tay Crowder coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. 
We were wondering what they would do defensively to disrupt Patrick Mahomes. Sacking him on the first drive, that's a really good way to set a tone. The last thing you want to do is let him get established in the pocket where he can set his feet and throw wherever he wants to. Even though he does it well on the run and on the move, you definitely want to get him off the spot in the pocket. Five in the secondary now for the Giants here on third. Throwing now is Mahomes. That's caught left side by Hardman. Call it a pickup of three and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game, but it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Waiting on it will be Richie James. 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return, and it'll be giant foot. EA Sports, it's in the game. This is one of those offensive performances that I'll never forget. What a game. Today, from Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina, here's Randy Bullock now to put toe to leather, and off we go from Uptown Charlotte. Taking it about the one. 
And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Carolina's offense ready for its first possession. And at the helm, their new QB brought in via trade this offseason. His fifth year now in the NFL, former number one pick, Baker Mayfield. And if there's a quarterback in the NFL who didn't need any extra motivation, it was certainly Baker Mayfield because this young man already has a permanent chip on his shoulder to prove the doubters wrong. Being replaced and then traded from Cleveland, the team who took him number one overall, it only added considerable fuel to his fire. Now in Carolina, his entire focus is proving that he can be an elite QB and silencing all the noise. Baker going to throw this right away. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. The tackle that time by Zach Cunningham. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Here's Mayfield. And that throw behind his man. He missed him. Incomplete. LaVisca Chenault, the intended target. But now it's third down. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. Mayfield looks to throw. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. Their first possession of the game, and they're already going after double coverage. That's a nice completion that can set the tone for things to come if they're able to keep finding ways to beat with the defense is throwing at them. They look like they're confident that they can get it done. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. To throw Mayfield. And that would complete to Stephon Sullivan. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. From the red zone now, Mayfield. His throw caught at about the five. And the Panthers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. Mayfield with it once more. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Giovanni Ricci taking it in from two yards out. And the Panthers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. 
That's just a solid, methodical drive to start this game. And how about how it culminated? Doing exactly what they wanted to do, getting the ball downfield, and then running it into the end zone. I'm just telling you, partner, when you run it in rather than throw it in, that hurts the defense psychologically a heck of a lot more. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7-0 lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Taken in at the three. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Here come the Titans for their first possession on offense and leading them out in his fourth season with the team, 10th overall in the NFL, Ryan Tannehill. There were a few eyebrows raised when Tennessee took Malik Willis in the third round this year, but rest assured, Ryan Tannehill is still the man in Tennessee after leading the Titans to the top seed in the AFC last season. His 12 wins were the most he's posted in nine seasons as an NFL starter, and he's only the third quarterback to lead the Titans to three playoff appearances in the NFL, joining Steve McNair and Warren Moon. They run with a big man in his seventh season. It's Derek.